大家好 ，I'm Nathan Rich, aka 虎国大王。Taiwan is part of China. Still isn't even close to Taiwan being a country of its own. Nor of Taiwan isn't its own country. Nor. Is the Nathan Rich channel dead? Like unsolved mysteries dead? Like what's going on here? Where is Nathan Rich? Has he been welded into his apartment because he has coronavirus? Has he been thrown into a re-education camp by the CCP? He's been missing now for three weeks, and we're really starting to worry that he might actually come back. In fact, we're hoping that he's going to be disappeared forever. But you know what's going to happen, right? Nathan Rich is going to come back several days after this video and start begging for money again. I mean, the guy hasn't made a video in three weeks, and let's be honest, it's kind of been dying anyways. I think even the Wu Mao, the nationalist people, are kind of getting tired of the bullshit. The propaganda, even the propaganda, like it has to get old, right? I mean, let's take a look at some of his videos here. You can you can see his channel. Okay, he has five hundred thousand. Think about that, five hundred. Thousand subs, right? Now, usually, for for those people that don't know, us YouTubers, you know, we expect like one third views as part of our subs, and anything less than that, you're basically a Guelo sixty, <laughs> basically. And uh, what that means is is that your subs are worthless. Okay, they're bots. They're losers. They're VPN people, right? So. Look at good old Nathan Rich, though, coming in well below average. That's right, an underachiever. Yeah, seventy-nine k, forty-three k. There's like some thirty k's in there. What is he doing? How do you have five hundred k subs, but get so little views? I think it's safe to say that. Well, quite obviously, he's a bot channel. And、uh, let's just check out one of his videos for old time's sake, because I haven't even seen one of these crap things in a while. So I took a look at Jack Ma News. Ooh, Jack Ma. Ooh, Jack Ma. Let's see if Nathan Rich has improved any, or if it's just that same old like nursing home dribble that like you just you know we've all heard it before. We don't need that nursing home dribble crap that he usually puts out. Let's take a look, actually. What do you think about trending videos of people saying Jack Ma has been abducted by the Chinese government? I was thinking about doing a quick video about this,、um, so maybe I'll just say this. On Twitter, somebody asked me, Nathan, what do you think about the Jack Ma news? Oh, oh, what, what do you think of Jack Ma news? Oh, Jack Ma news! I like how he like conveniently gets this question on his Twitter. He's like, "Hey, look, guys, I got this question on Twitter," <laughs> and then it's like it takes him like twenty minutes to like find the Twitter question. It's like, dude, if the Twitter question was that great and you didn't already have this in mind, why does it take you like twelve hours? To find the Twitter question, and then he looks on Twitter and can't even find it. So it's like, <laughs> I got the Twitter question, did not, I can't find. <laughs> okay, let's let's take a look at that actually. I'll go to my、uh, home. Maybe I can find it.、Um, maybe it's too far back now. But somebody said like. Why don't you comment on the Jack Ma news? And, and this is my comment. What news? 
come on, bro. Like, you couldn't screenshot that shit or save it or something. I mean, you, you claim to put in all this effort into proving all the stuff that you say, but you can't even save a tweet. I mean, come on, bro. Come on now, you leave the entire tweet out that is the whole point of your video. What's the fucking point of that? What news? <laughs> what news? Huh? Jack Ma, he's just, he's just gone for four months. Oh, what news? I like how he has this like pre-planned narrative. Oh, what news? Oh, that's not news. Oh. He's doing that thing that Jayo does where he just acts completely ignorant to the whole situation. <laughs> He's like, nah, I don't, I, don't, I, don't, I don't know, right? Like, if you just act ignorant to how things work in China, then it's somehow just it's a non-story, right? It doesn't matter. But you can pretty much tell, and, I, and I'm going to say that b before I watch this video all the way through, because I haven't yet, I promise, is he's going to try to make it sound like a non-story, which is pretty much what all the shills do. They're like, no, we're just dancing with vegetables. There's no propaganda here. This guy is so proud of what he has created. <laughs> but he is all in on this thing. Look at this setup he's got. He's, he's working an angle. He's thinking, if I work hard enough, I've got access to the vegetables. I'm very close to this industry. How do I get those vegetables out there? And he's using the existing stuff. And he's having a good time doing it. This guy's got a big smile on his face. And not only that, but his lady friends. We love dancing with vegetables. It's a non-story. Yeah, okay, bro. So he's gonna try to make it sound like a non-story as if like Jack Ma was just, he was taking a vacation, you know? Which is not true. Where's Jack Ma? <laughs> I like how he, he does that face. He's like... Like, it's so pre-planned, right? As if, like, the Chinese government doesn't just disappear people all the time anyways, right? We've never heard of the Chinese government disappearing somebody before. I mean, come on, Nathan Rich. You're a cult member, right? You were in a cult. Let's not act like the CCP doesn't just disappear people for being critical of them. Especially since Jack Ma was critical of them just before he disappeared. And he was calling China's banks pawn shops. Now, I know you know what a pawn shop is. You know, so uh, if you would you like being called a pawn shop if you were a bank? Probably not. It's a little funny how like Jack Ma calls their banking institution a pawn shop. And then all of a sudden, there's antitrust issues against Jack Ma's companies. I wonder why that happens. It's like he says something negative, and all of a sudden, Jack Ma's this huge criminal, and his companies just, ah, they're horrible. They're a horrible capitalist organization, and, and the communist government is there to free the Chinese people of this horrible capitalism. When in truthful, it, it's just that, you know, they don't want a capitalist company getting too strong because they're afraid that they're going to lose some power. And that's what Xi Jinping doesn't like. And Xi Jinping was directly involved with this because he's the king of China, right? And he actually, like, we know for a fact that he's the one that blocked the IPO of Jack Ma's company, basically. And that's why China likes this whole capitalism is evil. Rah, capitalism is evil. Even though communism is amazing, they say. Mm, communism. But of course, uh, you know, communism just sucks the life and money out of capitalism, right? Basically, any Chinese person that has been pulled out of poverty has been pulled out of it because of capitalism, not communism. But Forgetting that point, did we forget Fan Bingbing went missing for four months without word? Did we forget about that? Like, how come all the shills just so conveniently forget these things when it happens? You know, you're going to have to admit, right, that these people just disappear. And for some reason, it's not random. You know, I mean, how would you like to go missing for three or just four months, Nathan? I mean, Fan Bingbing and Jack Ma. Uh, it's just normal. They just go missing, and every time they return, for some reason, you know, they uh, they have to just apologize on Weibo. I wonder why, right? And uh, it's always like to the Chinese government and things like that. But everyone knows the truth. When the Chinese government tells you to be quiet, 
you be quiet, right? Especially when it's Xi Jinping Pong, right? As soon as they tell you to be quiet, you be quiet. And he did so by ending that IPO. He said, be quiet. And then Jack Ma went away for three months. I mean, what about even like Jackie Chan? Jackie Chan has been disappeared and apologized so many times now, right? Like Jackie Chan can fight off anyone in anything in any of his movies. But as soon as the Chinese government's like, Jackie, you settle down. He throws out an apology. Like, we're talking about the drunken master here, okay? We're talking about Rush Hour 1, 2, and 3. None of them have anything on the Chinese government. I don't care if you are like the be like police story Jackie Chan, okay? If the Chinese government tells you to apologize, you apologize. And that's what Jackie Chan does, okay? And everyone knows that. So, Nathan, you think that there's no risk that they don't just disappear people even though it happens all the time and that Jack Ma just randomly went away for three months? Yeah, right. Like, comment, subscribe. Give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Check out my Patreon page and have a good day, people. The government is behind YouTubers at the moment here in China. They are protecting foreign YouTubers. Propaganda piece by the government. One, two, three, four, five. E R Sansa. Ooh. I have been so fucking frustrated um, because one, two, three, four, five. E R Sansa. Ooh. One, two, three, four, five. That's a that's a pretty that's a pretty impressive feat. E R Sansa. Ooh, 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 ooh